Hello, now today we are challenging Barry, one of our normals, to beat the takeaway. Can he cook a very similar dish in the time it takes to have one delivered? Now, we did this a while ago and there were some challenges when it came to the delivery time. So today, we're taking full control of that. I'm gonna go pick it up from the restaurant because it's only around the corner. I thought we wanted to make it more challenging, not less. <laughs> we've got our most normal of normals in the kitchen and we've got our most athletic on the uh, route. <laughs> Baz, you have Sidekick at your disposal. Jay, you've got an inhaler if you need it. <laughs> Come on. You can start the cooking as soon as we order the delivery. Three, two, one. Order. Go, Jay. Go. Aruna, Aruna, go. On. Right, so today we are making Korean style pork fried rice from Sidekick. And I'm gonna do this like I do at home. Relax. Aruna, we're not losing this. I hope you got your trainers on. <laughs> So I'm not going to do the audio guides, but I'm going to follow the instructions word for word. First up, drizzle two tablespoons of veg oil into a large pan. To make this as fair a test as possible, we have ordered from a local Korean restaurant and we have ordered kimchi fried rice. So it's basically the same dish. And then I'm squeezing meat from four sausages out of their skins and into the pan and cook for four to five minutes. So this is one recipe from a recipe pack where we would use the other two sausages uh, in another application in the same pack. Fun game. So I also have Jamie's live location uh, on the screen. I wonder if he's actually running, because when you order a takeaway... He was. He was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> when you order a takeaway, it's still going to take a while for the establishment to receive the order, prep the order, cook the order before you can take it away. It's not that far away. So he should be able to calmly walk there, pick it up, it's already paid for, and calmly walk it back. Right, I reckon we get to the next road, cross it, and we're going for another jog, all right? Although what I'm doing now doesn't look very pretty, this type of recipe is one of my favorite recipes to make at home. Beautifully seasoned sausage, I'm chucking into a pan with some otherly beautifully seasoned delicious ingredients and then just binding it all together with rice. Yep, it's done a lot of your seasoning for you. Things like fish sauce with the umami. The gochujang is a fermented chili paste. So these are flavor bombs going into a dish that gets you an awful long way there in minimal effort. A dish that growing up, I would never have thought to make at home. It's something that I could only get a restaurant because it's not a familiar flavor to what I grew up with. To get these cooking in the pan, you want these to brown all over. Right, got a timer on the go. And while that's cooking, I'll move on to the next step, which is grate some garlic, slice some spring onions. I kind of divided here because when you're stood here, you're normally kind of egging on, but kind of challenging the person in the kitchen. But on this instance, I think I'm on your side, Baz. I've always been fairly anti-takeaway, but if I do do takeaway, I do it the way Jamie's doing. I go and collect. I think, I'm, I think we do the same as well. Only if I have to get it delivered to the door, I will. Fish and chips. Mm. That's something that occasionally I'll go and collect, and it is a takeaway because there's no way I'm deep fat frying battered fish and chips at home. It's a luxury. It's a treat. That's pretty much the only takeaway I ever get. Also, what I hadn't considered is one of my favourite things to do when picking up a takeaway is snacking on the way back. How do you snack on takeaway? It's all wrapped up to keep it warm. Oh, chips, fish and chips. Oh, fish and chips. You know what I mean? That is crisping up beautifully, very quickly. So, where is Mr. Spafford right now? So we've sent him to a restaurant that's basically got your name. What? We've sent him to Barry Barry. <laughs> so Barry is going up against Barry Barry. Correct. Wonderful. He's either stopped for a breather or a, snack. Or a pint. Because he's outside a pub. <laughs> uh, lovely. Thank you very much. No, just that thanks. It's feeling quite confident. It's quite warm out, so thought we'd get an ice cream on the way. Let's go. Five whole spring onions done. What's your next instruction? Sausage is cooked and brown. Uh, in with garlic and three quarters of the spring onion, leave the rest for garnish. One thing I would say almost certainly will be a difference between the takeaway and the home version is the heat you can get in the pan. We're using an electric hob with a large flat bottomed frying pan as opposed to a wok and a wok burner, which may well be being used in the restaurant. You get a much fiercer heat, a quicker cook, and you get almost that smoky char of the wok. So we're gonna cook out the garlic and soften the onions for about one or two minutes, and then in with some gochujang. Smells good. Got that hit of garlic. 
as it hits the sausage fat. And this is where you see a normal. You see, not quite clearing as he goes. He's he's cut off all the tops of his spring onions and just left yeah, them to worry about I'll later. Yeah, I'll do in a minute. But literally in the same motion. The same motion he pushed forward onto somewhere he has to clear out later. He could have pulled back into the bin. I don't like this. I'm cooking like I cook at home. I don't yeah. like being judged. Just cross that road and we're there. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Cheers. Morning, yeah. Thank you. Let's go. Jamie has made it to the restaurant. Oh, okay, right, the game is on. Dodgy Jang going into the pan, and the sauce is that simple. It will always depend on the pace that you have, and nowadays a lot of supermarkets are kind of doing their own version in very, very small jars, relatively more expensive than just buying uh, the more authentic stuff, but sometimes they're not quite as hot. So it will be a personal preference, and I think that's an advantage against the takeaway is you can personalise it. Okay, right. That got you fragrance has filled the room. Now in with some rice. Dependent on the rice, sometimes you need to microwave it, other times you can just wang it straight in the pan. Get it all in and then you want to cover that rice in the delicious sauce. Now in this instance, that's pretty much exactly the same as the restaurant will be doing, except the restaurant will have pre-cooked their rice and then cooled it off, ready to do this step. Okay, warm the rice through. Until it's piping hot, always important when you're reheating rice, it must be piping hot. Whilst that's warming through, I can then get another pan on the heat with some sesame oil for my fried eggs. That was so much quicker than getting it delivered. Come on! Right, go, go, go! Do you want to know what? What? Oh no! He's on his way back! You're going oh, crikey! Okay, that's not good. So a dish like this we've chosen because it is an all-in-one, we can order a single dish from a takeaway and it is um, similar but it is also a dish that the restaurant can cook very quickly. So by the time Jamie made it to the restaurant, it was ready to pick up, and he is moving back towards the studio. Is he sprinting? At pace. Oh no, Jamie, no! Water obstacles. Parkour. I think we've been quick without too quick. Haven't really broken much of a sweat. Wonder how Baz is getting on. He is back on pretty much the same road cook, 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 that the cook, studio cook, is cook. on. He has got a fair distance to cover. Cook, 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 cook. Right, come on, eggs. Just Do like your thing. a delivery driver who might be held up at a um, red light. This is, this, is the, this is the final hurdle. He I, may well have been held up at a crossing. Okay, that's all good. So now, I think that's why. Oh, I didn't have the nori! I didn't have the nori! I forgot the nori! I got carried away! Right, this bit's a really important bit. Go into the pan. Five the sheets. usual thing about nori is that once you've used the number of sheets, you can put the rest back into the store cupboard. Not if you've ripped it in half, because now you only have one use for that. Ever! Right, go, 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 go. Mix, 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 mix. So we're adding a wonderful kind of salty umami seaweediness into this. This is the easiest, simplest, most delicious recipe. But when you're racing against Jamie, suddenly it becomes tense. Right, get in, get in the pan. Normals have gone to the same mistake, which is not tasting as they go. It does say in Psychic, season to taste. It does, doesn't it? It does, yeah, it yeah, does. yeah. We asked you to follow the recipe, yes, yes, and yes, you've yes. just panicked. So whilst you have put some uh, seaweed in it, which can be salty, and you have put some fish sauce in it, it's not the same as something like a soy sauce, Where's which is incredibly spatula? salty. You... Jamie is incredibly close, as is your dish. This has been really interesting because for sure, <laughs> last time we did this, it was the delivery part of the takeaway that let us down. This time, the actual cooking of a simple recipe in a restaurant was quick. I'm not gonna let you down, Ebers. Let's just tidy up. The eggs need a bit more time. They look good. I know, but... Crispy bottom, runny yolk. Okay, eggs going on top. Live tracking Jamie with his uh, kimchi fried rice from a local Korean restaurant. He is on the same street as the studio. He's got a couple of hundred yards to come. Sesame seeds on top. And lots of your fresh spring onion, which you've chopped. I think it's fair to say that in a restaurant, they might always leave the gas on ready for the next one. I'm surprised Baz has left the hob on. Okay, right, and that is service done. Right, turn your hobs off. Oh yeah, sorry. You've got two pans, about four times the cutlery that I was expecting. If you could get a clean kitchen while he climbs the stairs, he's literally outside the studio. Get two pans stacked on the hob. Two pans stacked on the draining board. 
Personally, when a pan is really hot, that's when I love to wash it up because it's all going to do half the work for you. you. Get some water in there, suddenly you've got hot soapy water in a hot pan. It's really easy to rub down and you end with a clean kitchen because that rice has just come out of a hot pan. It's too hot to eat right away anyway. Last few seconds, he's literally outside the studio. He's been climbing those stairs for quite a while, hasn't he? <laughs> I th honestly, I think he's slowed down. That that's the doorbell. Should we let him in? Thank you, Ishii. Let him in. Dinner is served. Did you stop for a pint? Stop for an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we saved the delivery fee by doing it this way, which means that, Jamie, your dish was £11.50. What have we got? Ooh, interesting. We have a takeaway and we have the sidekick version. Should we get some sexies? Deep within the snowy hills of the English countryside lies a mysterious old inn where due to budget constraints, sorted food are hosting their Christmas weekend away. Legend has it, however, that the inn has a mind of its own and a weekend of fun may quickly turn into a weekend of survival. Right, now for the comparisons. So as a plate of food, they're very similar. Fried egg, floppier, plenty of rice, got the beans, got the seaweed, some extra kimchi, we've got the gochujang. Um, let's have a taste. Much like yours, mm. the, the rice has been pre-cooked for sure, mm -hmm. and reheated. Exactly. It's got that ferment, it's got that kimchi yeah, ferment. Yeah. And you get your edamame beans, and your bean sprouts, and your kimchi. Pretty balanced. And it was waiting for you when you got there. I could have run faster. Google Maps says it was an 11 minute walk away. I think we did it in about eight. Okay. Maybe less. Mm -hmm. And because of that, no delivery fee, mm -hmm. so £11.50. We have to admit, Barry, you need a bit more planning because you need to know you've got the little ingredients bit. in. But otherwise, pretty much the same time, mm -hmm. pretty much the same dish. I think the egg's better. The advantage here is you can pick your own quality of sausages, you can pick your own quality of egg. I think this is probably the, the cheaper option. And I like the seaweed sheets through it, mm -hmm. slightly wilted. Here you've got the seaweed sheets, mm -hmm. the snack on, you've got the same, but I like the fact it's wilted into this. Another dimension. It's a really satisfying dish to make because mm. it's so easy. Yeah. Price-wise, mm -hmm. the cost of the ingredients are about half the cost of the takeaway and you're getting two portions. Mm -hmm. So it's a quarter mm -hmm. of the price per plate. But I would also say on this occasion, with these two menu items, I think yeah. yours tastes better. It tastes fresher, it Definitely. tastes more delicious. You're paying for the convenience and for the lack of planning. Yeah. Really, that's all you're doing it for. And it does serve a purpose. In fact, I can make a dish at home that personally I feel tastes better than that in less time and less money. Well, for me, it's remarkable. <laughs> and honestly, I think that's the job that we do at Sorted. There are incredible options for takeaway. And as time goes on, they're getting better and better and better. But it's still really hard to beat cooking things at home if priorities are around money. Tiny bit of planning. If you can use something like Psychic that takes that planning away from you, job done. And it's full of the hacks and tips and tricks like frying the eggs in the sesame oil, like putting the seaweed sheets through the mixture, like separating, separating out the sausages. And it's those tips and tricks that come out of a chef's brain that go into Psychic that mean that you can cook like this at home as well. And it's free for 30 days to at least give it a go. It's an absolute no-brainer. Try it. The link is down below. And we're not just plugging this for the sake of plugging it. No, we we're are. Genuinely, <laughs> we're genuinely proud of what we've made oh, here. Oh, that too. Like, this really, really works. Yeah. You've proven that. 